All right, welcome back to this book discussion on uh, facts about black Americans before 1619. This is going to be part two. And so uh, in part one, uh, we, we brought out just a couple of critical points because we're trying to keep the, uh, the videos uh, short. But this, this information is powerful. It's a small book, but it contains a lot of powerful information. So I just want to make sure that we, we, we highlight uh, certain points for you to be able to teach to your children and bring out when, you, when you're talking to uh, family members uh, or, or whatever. And so last week we hit two uh, main critical points in this document and we talked about how that most of us don't know that the uh, transatlantic slave trade actually started during the Spanish and the Portuguese Inquisition. All right. And, you know, a lot of people know that the Jews were kicked out of Spain in 1492, but they don't realize who those Jews were. And so these Jews were actually the black Jews, you know, that were kicked out of Spain. Uh, and Portugal. All right, so last week, uh, you know, we learned uh, number one, point number one, that the term Jew was equal to the term black Portuguese. And both of these terms were equal to the term Negro. And that's how we got to be uh, uh, named Negro. And we also established uh, from this documentation that the Moors were a distinctly different group of black people. You know, both the uh, black Moors and the black Jews uh, were in Spain at that particular time. And so we also established from this documentation that a royal order from the Portuguese declared that only the Negro Jews were to be targeted for the transatlantic slave trade and that they specifically and intentionally excluded the Black Moors as targets. So when I initially posted this information on TikTok, uh, you know, they took the video down for misinformation. But then I had plenty of supporting uh, incredible documentation to back up what I was saying. And so I offered to provide it, you know, up on appeal. And so TikTok, uh, subsequently, they reposted the video. So this is not, you know, um, this is this information is doc well documented. So, you know, it just people have been trying to hide this from us. So now point number three that I want to make today is to focus on the various locations that this documentation says that the black Portuguese or the black Jew or the Negro uh, was transported. All right, so we're going to go to page 15 and we were on page 15 before. And, you know, uh, like I said, it's a small document and it's jam packed full of uh, for information. And so in this particular section of the document, Lacasas has, has, has already proposed a general royal order so that the Negroes uh, would be the target of the slave trade and not the Moors. Lacasas' proposal was executed in 1517. Well, this, when we say that his proposal was executed in 1517, what we're saying is that this royal order that he got to only uh, take the Negro slaves or the Jewish slaves, uh, the black Jews, into custody for slavery was executed officially in 1517. And it said the Court of Trade at Seville appointed 4,000 Negroes to be annually transported to the islands of Domingo, Fernandina, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica, and Charles uh, the V granted the, the monopoly of this slave trade to his counselor, and, and Major uh, Domo de la Bresa for eight years. So we have right here, we have the Islands of Domingo, we have Fernandina, we have Puerto Rico, and we have Jamaica. All right, so now we're going to go to uh, page 16, and we're going to keep this short. We're going to go to page 16, and they're talking about trading in potatoes and all that, which we'll, we'll talk about some other time. But it also mentions right here, it says, um, and from that time to the peace concluded at Pardo, suffered her colonies to be furnished with Negroes by other nations. John Hawkins, a dealer in slaves, got in 1565 the first potatoes for ship provisions from the inhabitants of Santa Fe in New Spain. And so Spain called their territory New Spain. So when we look up New Spain, and you can just Google New Spain, you'll see that the territories of New Spain was in Mexico. It went down into uh, the South America, you know, all of the islands, you know, all the way over to the Philippines. 
you know, so uh, everywhere that the Spanish were, it, you know, it went on up into uh, what what we would call California and all, and you know, New Mexico and all that. Today, everywhere that they were, they took us, you know, and so you know, we were, we were transported to all these different places. So I really just wanted to focus in on you know where all uh, you know we were sent to the black Jews. Uh, the black Portuguese uh, or the black Spanish Jews. We were all the same people because we were escaping from Spain and we went to Portugal. So we're all, we were all the same people. So it's important for us to, for us to get this information. So we have other documentation as well to show that we were the ones that were put uh, on, on the islands. We also have genetic information to show that the same people who, uh, you know, were transported you know, from, from West Africa and from Spain and were transported to the islands, you know, all have the same genetic markers. So it, it's a lot of information out here for us to, for us to study and, and begin to understand, you know, how, how we got here. All right. So like I said, you can, you can purchase this uh, particular book, uh, you know, uh, for $10 and you can also get, uh, you know, the two free documents or you can just get the two free documents without purchasing anything it's, it's up to you and we also have audio book that you can download if you download the audio book you also get the ebook and you also get the two free uh downloads as well and so we're going to continue to do these type of videos where we're just showing we're just pulling out uh you know some some important facts you know and keeping the video short so you can kind of absorb uh the impact of this particular information all right, so I'm gonna put at the end of this. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna clip in a couple of one-minute videos that further uh, proves uh, and shows where uh, the black Jews were transported to uh, in in the America. So check these uh, two one-minute videos out. Uh, it is real crucial for us uh, to get it. And all right, so I'm hoping that this information is is uh, is, is is critical to your uh, learning. You know, because we got we got a lot in there that, that we can learn. So this is not we this is not conjecture on our part. We we have the documentation, but it's just difficult to just put all of this documentation out there at uh, at one time. All right, thank you guys for joining in. Shalom. I have a question for you. <laughs> I I'm, I'm so glad you're here because you can bring great clarity. Can you tell us a little bit about the Sephardic Jews? and how they were scattered because um, they went west. I sure can. Because the reason why I want to is because a lot of them, and a lot of people don't know this, are in the Caribbean. They are. In the islands. And I know you're that. one of them. I and know I'm that. One of them. <laughs> I know that. Uh, because, you know, a lot of folk don't know that the, those roots are there. One of the first uh, batches of slaves that came to Jamaica they were the Sephardic Jews, it's documented. And they're all over the, Caribbean, all over the Caribbean, South America, Central America, yeah. and even the central, South Central United States. Wow. And DNA testing is a factor in all this now. During the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition, millions of black Jews were sold from Africa as slaves worldwide by the permission of the Pope, fulfilling prophecy that Judah would be scattered to the four corners of the earth and would be least among the people. As a result of the Inquisition, we see Judah today depicted in South America as Afro-Brazilian, Afro-Colombians, Afro-Argentines, Afro-Peruvians, Afro-Venezuelans, Afro-Chileans, Afro-Ecuadorians, and Afro-Bolivians. In Central America, it's afro Panamanians, Afro-Costa Ricans, Afro-Nicaraguans, Afro-Hondurans, Afro-Salvadorians, Afro-Guatemalans, Afro-Belizean, and in North America, Afro-Mexicans, Afro-Americans, Afro-Cubans, and more. In every one of those nations, they are considered to be the least among the people. The Messiah states clearly that the least among the nations are his brethren, and that the nations of the world will be judged according to how they treated them. Wake up. In a shocking 1700s historical document of black Americans, a German professor used the term Negro as a reference to black Jews both in Africa and in Portugal. The author also makes a clear distinction between the black Jews and black Moors. The Moors were largely a distinctly different mixture of black people, most of whom had converted to the Muslim faith. The author candidly points out that the black Jews were specifically targeted for the slave trade, and that the black Moors were intentionally avoided.
and that the Negroes also known as black Jews were then sent to the Americas during the slave trade. Get your e-book and audiobook bundle today. Choose from the following three options. Option 1. Get free copies of the original 1700s documents only. Option 2. Get an easy-to-read edited e-book, plus free copies of the original 1700s document for a low price of $10. Option 3. Get an audiobook for easy listening, plus the easy-to-read edited e-book, and also free copies of the original 1700s document for a low bundle price of $15. Learn the real history they don't want you to know.